Guide's Choice Hairs here is arguably one of the hottest patterns we have in our fly bins. We're going to make a little change with this little tiny patch of squirrel. We're going to show you how to do it on a jig hook as well. Fly fish food. Okay, this is going to be a variation, and I will say variation, of a Guide's Choice Hairs ear. It's basically a soft hackled hairs ear even though we're not going to use any soft tackle for the soft tackle. So if you're a new tire, you're thoroughly confused right now, so just skip to this point and let's start, start over. Okay, got a size 12 jig hook in the, the vise and some red 70 denier thread. And I think I've got a 4 mil bead on this, but you can change the bead out depending on how deep you want to fish. So the tail on this is actually going to be a soft tackle, one of these cool wild type browns that we hand source from whiting. And I'm just going to pluck off a few fibers from that and tie them in as a tail. All right. So my tail is going to be about that long. I, I don't like a very long tail on these nymphs that, that use soft hackle fibers and dubbing just to try to keep them sinking the way they should. From here I'm going to tie in some wire. So you can also tie these with gold tinsel but I'm just going to use um, brassy sized wire for this fly. And from here I'm going to take some Hairs mask dubbing. So this is the Nature Spirit Hairs mask dubbing. It's actually mixed with a little bit of Antron to give it some sparkle. So I'm just going to build the body out of that. All right. Okay. So we've got the body dubbed up out of Hairs ear. We're going to build a little bit of a taper into this. I need a little bit more dub. This is a fairly light colored rabbit that I'm working with, which is fine. All right. So I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap right at the head. Now I'm going to take the wire and counter wrap it forward through the rabbit. So I'll catch that, helicopter it off, and now our body is done. From here, we are going to put a flashback on this, even though it's going to actually end up on the bottom side of the fly. But who cares? The fish don't care. It's still going to fish fine, yes, even though it's upside change. down. Brandon just walked in the room. Old medium-sized Brandon with a medium-sized beard. His words just don't carry the same weight they used to. I'm being heckled more while I'm tying this fly than any other fly. So Curtis can either decide to leave this in or edit it out and be upset that he has to spend more time on his computer. This is a mystical animal called a peacock. And this is the eye of the peacock. So I took two eye peacock fibers and I will use the peacock for the thorax. All right, so I've got those tied in. We'll give it a few wraps through. You could go back over that with your thread if you want to reinforce it, but since we're putting a wing case on, that kind of acts as some reinforcement. Then I can just take those and pull them back and pop them off. Pull the wing case over, just a tiny little bit of flash like that. It's a really short thorax on this fly because we're going to put some soft hackle on there. All right, for the soft hackle though, I'm using squirrel. This is gray squirrel that I've cut off of a pelt that I have. It's got some really cool colors in it. You can see it's 
gray, white, and brown all together. And I'm going to use the multi-clamp tool from Swiss CDC to get a little tiny bit of squirrel to put in a loop. So if you haven't seen how to use this Swiss CDC tool, there's a link in the description that will show you a bunch of different techniques. And what I've done is I've peeled off a little bit of the squirrel uh, from the pelt using the technique that we use in those videos. But anyway, what we end up with is some squirrel in a dubbing loop. It's just a tiny little bit and it's in the side of the clamp that has a little point. And that's important for when we build these dubbing loops because you can get it right up by the hook. So I've, I've created a loop. I'm going to just put in my little shepherd's loop tool on the gator grip and I'm going to shove the whole clip into the thread, leave my finger on it right here, and as I pop it out my finger will prevent me from pulling it out too far. And now I've got a little loop. From here, if I brace it with my finger, and, and th these techniques are all in that video that I'm telling you about, you should, technique, you should totally go check it out. But from here, I'm going to brace it out of the way and twist up my loop. Oh, my thread's in the way. And as I twist that, it'll twist up the squirrel into a nice little brush. Look at that. It's almost like I designed it that way. All right, so from here, I'm just going to wrap that around the hook, you know, one and a half times or so. All right, so I've, I've got that tied off now. You can see it makes a nice little soft tackle over the fly. And uh, the guard hairs are all kind of evenly aligned. Makes a super clean little bug. And from here, I'm just going to whip finish it. And there you have it, a guide's choice hair's ear variation.